Hi everyone, Mitch Jackson, TrialLawyerExpert.tv. I'm pressed for time this week. I'm getting ready for a couple of upcoming trials myself, but I wanted to shoot this quick video, get it out to you, and uh, hopefully you'll find this information useful. Today's video is going to be about direct examination. It's going to be about keeping your direct examination interesting for your jury. It's about keeping your jury involved in your client's story and involved in the trial itself. How many of you have either watched another lawyer all morning long or in some cases all day long conducted direct examination by asking a question, waiting for the answer? Asking another question, waiting for the answer. If you've looked over at your jurors, you're going to see people nodding off, closing their eyes, pretending to take notes. It's just not the most exciting and dynamic part of a jury trial. So here's something that I like to do during the direct examination to spice things up, to keep things interesting, and you can too, it's easy. Every five to seven minutes, I like to ask a question of the witness, of the expert witness or lay witness, that requires him or her to stand up, walk over, and take a, a model into their hands, or to use a whiteboard, or a overhead projection uh, through a uh, Elmo projector to explain his or her answers. Okay, so you're asking your, your witness questions on direct and you've structured your direct, you plan ahead so that every five to seven minutes that witness either needs to stand up, come down, take the model and, and look at the model and share the model with the jury as he or she's explaining and answering your questions but explaining the facts to the jury or they've walked over to a whiteboard and they're using the whiteboard while answering your questions much as if a, uh, a college professor might uh, teach a course to a classroom. The reason this is important is it creates a, a dynamic uh, an interaction in the courtroom that really does keep everybody involved in your story. Now, every five to seven minutes, you don't have to have the expert stand up and walk down from the witness stand over to an exhibit. Depending on how uh, you're set up, you may have the expert witness use a laser pointer from the witness stand and then use the laser pointer to point to an overhead projection and explain to a jury, maybe using bullet points or using a diagram if it's an accident case, you know, a, a diagram of the intersection where the accident took place, or if it's a product liability case, you might have uh, pieces of the product displayed up on the overhead projector and he or she can use a laser pointer while they're answering your questions to interject something else into the direct examination process other than just questions and answers. If you want to fine tune this approach just a bit, here's something else you can do. If you've got an important issue that you wanna get across to your jury and you're doing this through your direct examination of let's just say an expert witness. Now, you've, you've covered the topic and five to seven minutes have gone by. Now what you can do is ask your expert to stand up and walk over to the diagram, to the whiteboard, whatever, whatever mo model he or she's brought to trial to help explain a concept and using slightly different worded questions, ask the witness to then go over what he or she just testified to in front of your jury for the, fe for the past five to seven minutes. You're going to get around the asked and answered objection, if it's even made, because you're not asking the same questions. You're, you're coming, uh, you're approaching this issue from a slight, slightly different perspective, and now the jury is hearing the same issues and concepts explained a slightly different way, not from an expert sitting on the witness stand, but once again from the expert walking down, using the whiteboard, and maybe highlighting certain elements or issues involved in the case. So that's about it. I hope you found this information useful. It's a great way to add a little pizzazz to your direct examination and it's really, really easy to do. By the way, if you coordinate this approach with your witness uh, a couple of days or a couple of weeks before trial, they're really going to appreciate it. They understand how dry examination can be and normally is. So by sharing this approach with your witness, he or she's going to appreciate the fact that you're, you're going to keep things interested, interesting to the jury and you're going to get this witness involved in the trial. That's about it for today's video. 
I hope you found this information useful. Let me know what you think about uh, this particular technique when conducting direct examination using the comment section on the video blog or, or just emailing me. I'd also like to invite you to join me on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and Pinterest, which is a great new site. You should check it out if you haven't already. Visit our website at www.triallawyerexpert.tv. That's it. Take care and remember to make today your masterpiece.